Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2, it's Abyss, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to complete a stranger mission called A Bright and Bouncing Boy. Now this is going to be a three part mission, and the first two part will actually be the mission, and the third is just basically checking up on Marco to unlock a trophy slash achievement called Artificial Intelligence. Now when you do that, this basically will discover the fate of Marco. Now for the first part, all we have to do is control this remote control boat on the water and destroy a bunch of ships. In the description below, I will have timestamps for each individual section. This way you can jump to any part of the video. Keep in mind, this mission will be available in chapter four once you get close to this park. Now I'll be back for the second part of this mission to explain more. Genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <clears throat> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Aww. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and... And the the sea mines! They have magnets attached. Make nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Even little boats can see, okay? Please! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. No other way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. Migration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is 
really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he's dead to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires, or coal, or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? That book who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel. Can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my... All right, so here we are at part two. You're going to want to wait a couple days and then head up all the way to the northeastern part of the map, probably about as far as you can go, and then it'll actually show up. When we talk to Marcos here, he's going to ask us to place down three conductors outside. Once you place down the three conductors, you'll come back and talk to Marcos, and then he's going to ask you to climb up the tower and basically toggle the switches. Now, the order that you need to do it is right, left, middle. So basically, if you did it in numbers, it would be three, one, two. Afterwards, you'll come back to Marcos and you'll notice his new discovery is alive. <laughs> um, now for part three, it's the mission's basically done, but you do need to go and do another part in which you have to wait a couple days and then come back and check up on Marco to find out what happened to him. Now, once you do that, you will unlock the trophy size achievement called artificial intelligence. Other than that, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure you support by hitting that like button and subscribing and turning on a notification bell. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Well, it is the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament glows solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness power of nature to make life.
I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Am I missing something? The switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. You ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Professor? 
your creation now? 